All right, continuing on, Tiffany posts a picture of her posing with Sir Isaac from the pop group Sir Isaac and the New Tones on her Instagram at 9 a.m. The rate at which uh, her followers view the picture is modeled with selected value shown in the table below. Please fix that. Uh, where t equals zero represents 9 a.m. So this is 9 a.m. And then two hours later, that would be 11 a.m. and so on. Uh, the rate is measured in people per hour. Use the data in the table below to approximate the following. So we want to use the right Riemann sums with three subintervals to approximate the area between p prime of t, the t axis, t equals zero, and t equals five. Uh, so I'm going to call it area, and then you can call it right. Now notice that the question is telling you that you cannot use equality. It's asking you to approximate. So approximation is indicated by tildes. You're going to be required to do that. Um, I, I actually would suggest using RM here. And we're going from 0 to 5. So we're looking at just these four boxes. And we want three subintervals. So we're looking at uh, just the la we're looking at the right one so we're looking at this this and this we're ignoring the first one because we have right Riemann sums so the difference or the width of the first box is going to be two so two times and then the height is given by the right endpoint so two times 30 plus this width is two again times the height which is 54 Plus, now notice that these are not all equal widths. So this width was two, this width was two, and this width is only one. So you need to make sure that you're accounting for these, especially in table problems. Do not assume that all the widths are the same. And then this turns out to be 60, 108, 168, 26, 194. And then we were told to include units of measure with our answer. So let's do unit analysis time times p prime of t the units of time are hours yeah hours and then the units of p prime of t are people per hour so hours cancel with hours and then you're left with just people so if we multiply the time by the people prime or the rate at which people are watching this image we're going to get 194 people. And then what does the answer represent in the context of the problem? And here, I'm just going to copy paste the problem, what, what the problem gives me. She posts a picture. So the, the, the picture is what is presumably being watched. So Tiffany's post was viewed by 194 people between and now here's where you have to be careful the question is asking us to re represent the answer in the context of the problem we cannot say between t equals zero and t equals five that would be insufficient you'd lose the, the contextual uh, explanation point for that you have to change the zero back into what the original time scale was so we were told that zero represents 9 a.m so this will be between 9 a.m and uh, t equals 5. So 5 hours from 9 a.m. is 2 p.m. So this would be between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Please, please, please remember to make sure that you change your time scales based on what the original question gives you. If you mark it as t equals 0 and t equals 5, you're not going to get full credit for that. Uh, same problem, but left Riemann sum. So left endpoints are being used. Four subdivisions from t equals 4 to t equals 12. So I usually will just mark, especially in table problems, I'll mark where I'm starting and where I'm ending. So I'm not looking at parts of the table that don't concern me. So I'm looking at from t equals 4 to t equals 12, and I need uh, left Riemann sum. So I'm looking at left endpoints. So I'm only looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm ignoring that y value. So my width here is 2, 1, 1, 3. So 
So my LRAM, notice again the word approximate, that's your hint or that should be a trigger for we need to use tilde here. This cannot be an equal sign. It has to be an approximation because it's not exactly the area. You're using the LRAM to approximate what the area is. And then my subdivisions were 2113, I think. 2113, yeah. 2 times plus 1 times, 1 times plus 3 times. And now I'm looking at the output values on the left endpoint. So 54, 26, 21, and 44. So my width has to be multiplied by my height. The height is given by the left endpoint. 54, 26, 21, 44. And if we clean this up, I did this earlier, is 275. And again, we already did the unit analysis in the previous problem, so this should be people. And in fact, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Don't, don't do this on the AP exam. Don't you know change the context. Use the sentence. Why is this not copying? Use the exact same sentence. So it was viewed by 275 people. And now again, remember to change the times to fit the problem. So we are four hours after 9 a.m. So that's 1 p.m. And 12 hours after 9 a.m. So that's 9 p.m. And that's it. A midpoint Riemann sum with three subintervals to approximate the area between, so this is MRAM, and we're asked to approximate uh, area between P prime, T axis from 0 to 12. So the whole thing, now we're not looking at just the part of it, we're looking at the whole thing, but we need midpoints. So midpoints with three subintervals means we need three inputs at which we're going to find output values. So one, two, three. And you can think of this as I have seven data points total. So if I count off by three, so if I look at these three first, then I look at these three, then I look at these three. Number two is the midpoint of zero, two, and four. Five is the midpoint of four, five, and six. Nine is the midpoint of 6, 9, and 12. So those are my three midpoints. I'm going to use those to determine the heights. So the midpoint is what determines the height. So now I have to look at the width. Now the width from here to here is 4. The width from here to here is 4, 5, 6, or 2. Width from here to here is 6. I'm just looking at the distance between the t values. So 6 to 12 is 6, 4 to 6 is 2, 0 to 4 is 4. Now, for that width, the height is coming from the midpoint. The height is coming from the midpoint. The height is coming from the midpoint. So MRAM will be 4 to 6. And then the heights will be 30, 26, and 44. And this is 436. And again, I would copy paste this over. was seen by 436 people between what times? So zero, so that will be 9 a.m. And 12, that will be 9 p.m. And that's it. So the post is being seen by 436 of people or her followers between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. How much time do I have on this video? Almost done. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.